This has been pretty different for me because I've been in a position where birds don't come out of the cage, let's say, because they're shy or they don't come off their cage, but not in a position where like Brando like acts like he's never seen certain things before. So I said to George, I'm like, is he not smart? <laughs> My fellow sniffers and flighters, my name is Marlene McCohen and welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new here, let me know that you're new, let me know that you subscribed and hit that notification bell so I can welcome you appropriately. I'm in my bed. Why am I in my bed? Because we are going to do kind of like a Brando update and I'm gonna go over Brando's schedule with you. And I bet you guys are excited to know what happens here, what his personality is like. But before I go on and show you, his cuteness because you guys are gonna see he's changed like he changes so quickly should have made this guy an Instagram I swear before I show you Brando make sure to check out my links below check out my new organic parrot food with tops as well as our subscription boxes which you want to get in on quickly because the window to subscribe to them is very short no idea why so let's start from the morning I'm sleeping in my bed okay you guys know I'm not like an early ride and at 7.30, something very dramatic happens, okay? Talk about naming and Brando. I have never seen an animal act. This bird knows how to act. So here's what happened the first morning. I'm sleeping and I hear this flapping and it's like crazy flapping and I'm like, oh my God, it's the kind of flapping you hear when a bird is like literally distressed because his wing is stuck in between bars and like if you don't like help him, he's gonna have a blood feather or just like have a heart attack because he's panicking. So I wake up and you know when you cover a bird and like there's a little section on the bottom that like the blanket just didn't get. Well, I turn around and I look. I swear, two seconds previously it was all dramatic and he just stands there like this and poses like, so you're gonna get me out or what? And I'm like, you seriously just acted all that? And he literally did it day after day. Yeah, he's a dramatic bird that knows how to act. Shouldn't have named him Brando, but I'm pretty happy I did. Also loves his toys. He likes to play with them and fight with them. And then when they come back at him, he yells at them, okay? Like he's very dramatic. He also will want you to pet him and then yell at your finger. So then I open the cage and then I bring him out. Oh, you're so dramatic. And then I literally laid down with him. I don't sleep with him. It's not safe to sleep with your birdies, like in a way that, you know, you could crush him. I literally like cuddle him for like half an hour. Well, actually, here's the truth. First, I bring him out, I give him kisses, and then I put him back up here. I'll tell you why, because I want to teach him to go potty. So I put him right up here, because you know, birds will hold it, and this is a good time in the morning to test it out. And I'll sit him right there, and I'll say, go potty. And then I won't pick him up until he does. But can we just take a moment to show you how beautiful he is? Well, look at all that black on the beak. Like, just started happening so fast. So guys, watch, like he wants to step up and then sometimes he's dramatic about it, okay? You wanna step up? Like he does this at the same time as stepping up. You know, you're very dramatic, you know? Today he got his head stuck in between his toys, not stuck, like he put his head through to see me because I tested him out. I didn't let him out right away. Like I let him out, but I didn't like go to get him. I wanted to see how hard he would try. That's something you wanna do to create a smart bird too. You don't wanna do everything for them. Those are his new noises. You wanna like see what they can learn to do themselves. You could see. Yeah, okay, you don't like, you don't like this finger? This finger's bothering you? Okay. Ooh. Picasso never made any other noises like this. Let's say I put him down here. Okay. I leave the door open, but I just wanna see like they're smart. So today when he woke up and George woke up, he wanted to see George, but he didn't know how. So he did all sorts of acrobatics up on top of the cage, but he didn't know what to do. Just wanna like give them their own courage and like teach them how to fledge a little bit themselves. Clearly he's not a fledgling, but you know what I mean. Like this is basically, if I keep aiding them, then I'll create a very dependent bird. So it's important important for me to create an independent bird, but also to observe and see how they learn. He's so curious about stuff. He has his little way, he likes to go up on the swing and then go over to play with his toys. So cute. Yeah. Hi, Mama. 
So what I'm trying to say is that like observe a lot about what he's doing and sometimes if he needs help with something that I know he could do himself, I don't help him because that's how you create some independence. You see, watch, I just love to see what he thinks he's doing, right? He wants to come, but he's thinking about how to do it. So a lot of times someone would just pick him up, but I wanna see him like try to make his way here. You know what I mean? And he'll go so far and then he'll hesitate. Like, shouldn't you be picking me up right now? Yeah. So like from there, it's like, where does he step? You know, like he doesn't know where to step. So we have to see what he tries to do. Ideally, he would exactly, exactly, yeah. You could tell like his feet aren't super strong yet. I can tell just by the way things he does and his coordination isn't the best. What are you gonna do? Like he'll go back, you see? That's what he does. He plays with the toys and then yells at them. This has been pretty different for me because rescue birds, they already have like a certain sense about them. Every time you get a bird, they're gonna be shy and it's gonna take them a while to come into their own. Like it takes time. Like there are things I didn't know about Vinny for years, honestly. Like just the more you like get to know with them, bond with them, play with them, birds will always just deliver new things. I've been in a position where birds don't come out of the cage, let's say because they're shy or they don't come off their cage, but not in a position where like Brando like acts like he's never seen certain things before because he hasn't. So I said to George, I'm like, is he not smart? <laughs> but he is smart. It's just very new to me because there's a certain sense that older birds have, even if they're new to the environment, they just have a certain sense about certain things, you know? Brando, not so much. <laughs> He's just really funny like that. Guys, so check this out. In the morning, George cuddles him like this, and then Brando makes all these, yeah. He makes all these like half cute noises, half angry noises, which are also cute. So let's watch him do it. Then he yells at my finger. He makes kissing noises. Because I like when he's mad. Look, he just gets so feisty. You can't react too bad or take it personally if they bite. Also, like, because I know mustache parakeets, my first mustache parakeet, Malibu, talked. He said, hello, and pretty bird. And obviously, you guys know the mustache parakeet going around right now talking about the babies. So I try to make different noises when he's in that mood to make noises. So, for example, he's making all these, like, I try to go, yeah. Speaking in his tone. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Because it, it'll help him pick it up. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty. Pretty bird. So what I try to do is like, if I find a tone that he's comfortable making a noise in, I try to match that tone and say words in it. So it wouldn't be so far of a reach. Does that make sense? I don't know if it'll work, but do you guys remember when I taught Jersey how to sing? And her favorite song, she always danced to it. And then one day I was like, what if I do her terrible voice and go, eh, 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 like in her cockatoo scream. And she literally learned it in a minute. Okay, he's so feisty. He's so feisty. Yeah. See, he does this half the time, and then the other half the time, he just wants to be cuddled like a baby. But I like to do this because I like, even if he's like, gets a little feisty, at least he's making noises. And then, um, for those of you new to having a bird or a parrot, let's say you have a baby and you're considering like, and you really want to potty train him. So he's a baby, I'll be like, hmm, you know, I kind of noticed that every 20 minutes he might want to go potty. Then after, um, playing with him for a while, see, look at these hands aren't even going near him, but they alert him. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so now he's being particular feisty. His best moments are in the morning. He's a very morning bird. So then if you notice, oh, like maybe 20 minutes, maybe half an hour has passed by, then you go put the bird back and you tell him to go potty. Chances are he will go potty. And another way you could do this is there are certain times a bird is always going to go potty. One of those is before they take flight. That's an indication that they may be about to fly. It just depends on if you have a flighted bird. Before before they eat something, they'll release that extra weight. Like if they say see 
food, they might like go potty to like ingest the new food. I'm not saying that's always what it means. I'm also not saying those are the only things it could be. A bird just go potty, but just keep a lookout for those things because if you show your bird food and he's about, you know he's about to go potty because that's what he does, then you say go potty and he'll start associating that with, oh, and then I got the food. So he's never having to withhold it. Jeez. You are all feisty. You are feisty. Yeah. You're cute. I can't. I can't. So what I'm saying is if you can guess that they're gonna go potty because you've kind of learned when they're gonna do it and then you start saying that word right before, it'll seem like such a amazing coincidence. Also when they fluff like that, they might be going potty, you know, just things like that. Then when you say go potty and then they do, more so because you knew they would do it, not because they did it for you. Then when you say it when you want them to go potty, they'll understand. That doesn't mean that they can't go potty you know, in between you doing that. It just means that they might understand that this is what you want them to do, or they might learn to tell you go potty. You know what I mean? That's what George did and Picasso used to kind of do, not say it, but he used to fly back and go potty. I don't know if you know anyone else that had that much of a potty trained bird, but yeah, Picasso would fly to his stand to go potty and fly back to me. You are feisty. <laughs> My love for Brando is really beginning to grow. As far as like a rescue versus a baby, I don't know. I have an automatic love for rescues. Like, I don't think, I don't know if my love would be deeper for Brando. I don't think so. I think like just the history of certain birds and their stories and like them not being in the best homes and coming to me just gives me an automatic like deep, deep love and understanding for them. But Brando's like a baby. But my love grows for my birds all the time. Just different birds, like the bond just grows and changes and I love you. You wanna go potty? Go potty. Yeah, floofers. So if he doesn't go potty right away, cause I actually saw him go potty like 10 minutes ago, so it's probably too soon. I might leave him there until he does. And then when I see him, we gotta keep an eye on him. I'll bring him out and go, yay, good bird. And give him like hugs so that he understands like, not that he has to, but that this is his kind of chance and that he'll get out again. What else do you do, Brando? He literally has one bath a day, okay? Like this guy wakes up and grooms himself. Like he wakes up and has like a shower, like just so interesting. He hasn't met the other birds yet. So it's mostly about me coming up and hanging out with him. I literally spend all morning with him. He gets my first attention. He's still eating the kind of mix from the bird store, but I've added my pellets in there and he really likes them. So that's exciting, but I haven't switched him to like 100% my food yet. I actually had run out of the one for small birds. So I gave him the one for large birds and he was fine with that. I saw it all crumpled up. He also takes the pellets that he had from the store. He takes them and dips them in his water and makes himself like breakfast. Very active bird. Go potty. Good bird. So now because he went potty, I'm going to take him. Does that make sense? Like, oh, love him. And then you hang out with your bird longer. You know what I mean? And then eventually they'll kind of learn to like go back to the spot. So in the morning, I bring him in with me and then he hangs with me, but then after a while, he'll wander over to George and like want attention from George. It's cute, cause it's like, I'm really trying to make sure that George socializes him with himself like he did with Merlin. Sometimes I'll come in here and George is playing video games and Brando's just sitting with him. Brando gets a lot of love and attention. Vinny met him, <laughs> we were hiding him and I brought him down to show Jenna, Jenna's reaction to him being here in the house. I didn't put up here, I ended up putting it on my Patreon. She was holding Brando and literally Vinny came over to investigate, jumped on Jenna's head and freaked out. It was so funny. He was mad obviously and Jenna's like, get him off my head. I wanna tell you guys something interesting that I realized about getting 
getting a new bird. Obviously, you know, I didn't get Brando until a year after Picasso left. I always said that one day I'd get a baby mustache parakeet, so you guys knew that, but I wasn't looking for one. You guys saw how this happened. Anyhow, I know a lot of people feel this way, because so do I. It's like, you don't want to run out and get another animal real fast after something happened to your animal, but having the same kind of bird, like when Cody came back into my life, I remembered everything about George that I had forgotten because Cody did all these things. And then even when Merlin came, I remembered even more things about George that I'd forgotten. It's so easy to forget all the details that you think you remember, but just having Brando, like there's certain things he does. It just kind of reminds me of Picasso. Like in the middle of the night, if I cough, he like yells back at me, kind of like, are you okay? Like it just, I don't know, like these birds, I think they have some sort of empathy that I haven't seen in other birds. A lot of birds have empathy and a lot of my birds have empathy, but there's something about these birds. I don't know what it is. It's just like they understand. You guys know that Picasso used to fly over if I coughed. He would fly over to my shoulder and like start looking like to see if I'm okay. And if I stopped coughing, he'd fly away. And then if I coughed again, he'd fly back. He really just cared. And then just this guy, the fact that like at night if I cough and he's all covered, he has to say something about it. It was fascinating to me. Let me show you the other birds. Vinny? Where are you? Uh-oh. How did you do that? So, you climbed up here, chewed this, that. Vinny? Are you sorry? Vinny. She's gonna do her blinky blinky. I heard you giving a lot of speeches today. Cody. Bye bye, Samami. Yeah. There's blue. I hope you guys really enjoyed this Brando update. Hey guys, the Feathered Fun Box is our new subscription box of toys, treats, and other surprises for you and your bird. So don't forget to check the link below and get in on that. And guys, don't forget to check out my new line of organic bird food called Marlene's Signature Blend, made with tops for small and large birds. I love that you guys are sharing it on social media. If you tag me in your Instagram story of your bird getting is food, I will definitely share it in my highlights. I love you guys so much. The link is below.